Hello everybody, it's Toy Dory here and today I'm playing an indie game called Fall of the Titanic. Now if you haven't guessed by the title, Fall of the Titanic is about the Titanic and how it sunk. You can explore the different decks and see into the rooms and then you ex sort of experience the Titanic sinking. I did write down a quote from the creator which sort of sums up nicely. Even the sinking has something beautiful to it, despite how sad the event was. So, without further ado, let us just see what this is all about, because I am intrigued. We have a desk, table thing, and a chair. Hmm. Oh, my eyes is bright. What's in here? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, it's like I'm in the film. <laughs> I should walk down those stairs and see everyone clapping. Can I go in here? No. Okay, can I go around? I'm guessing I can only go into the rooms that are actually open. Is this actually how it looked? Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? How did I do that? What? <laughs> did I just phase through a wall? Help! Help! I don't know how I got in here. Help! Let's try that again, shall we? Because that... What the heck? What the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that is a bit game-breaking. I sort of got... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not sure this is a... Uh... What the hell? Help! 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 I'm giving this one more go and I'm gonna walk really carefully because it seems like that happens every time I seem to walk through a door. Do I dare risk going down the stairs? I might fall through the ship. Okay, well we're going out. We're not allowed out. Okay. You know, it is a bleeding shame about how game-breaking those bugs are because this looks really well done. I mean, even for just showing off decks B and C, it looks really good. I'm guessing they still need to work on a skybox and everything, but, you know, I'm, I'm quite impressed. It looks quite good. I'm really scared to touch anything in case it breaks my game. <laughs> What's that? I, what the... What the fuck? <laughs> I will point... Pointing here! You must go here! <laughs> Okay, strange thing in the sky. Oh, it's a thingy! Oh, I'm sorry. It's obviously, um, uh, fog thingies. What the fuck is that? It's humongous. What the hell is this? It goes all the way through the thing. I haven't found the sinking yet. I'd like to find the sinking. I feel like we're getting lower. I feel like we could be getting to the sinking. I see a light. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I must go to it. No, it's getting further away. Oh, hello. Okay. Does anyone else get creeped out by finding glitches in games? Like when a wall disappears and there's just blackness. Does it freak you out? I thought they had a TV there then. It's actually a painting. I was like, they don't have TVs in Titanic. Do not touch the walls. The walls are deadly. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, it's gradually sinking, you twit. Oh, hello. Oh, Tori, you're an absolute nit. Of course it gradually sunk. It didn't just suddenly... Oh, man. Oh, I drowned. Oh, well, it was a good life. Well, that was fun. It was a little bit buggy, but the creator did say there was uh, quite a few bugs to still iron out, and he said to report any. It's a shame I didn't get to see more of the actual water filling up the ship and actually, you know, I guess I meant to keep away from it. Maybe I would have seen more. I suppose it's a sort of desperate thing, you've got to keep travelling higher and higher in the Titanic, which I'm sure people did, to try and not drown. But me being an idiot just went, oh look, water! Cowabunga! If you want to check out yourself and have fun splashing in the water that drowns you, yay! You can check it out on Game Jolt, I'll put a link in the description. If you enjoyed that video, why not leave a like and let me know, and I will speak to you in whatever I play next time. Bye bye!